Hi everybody, Shane the Nurse. Today, we're gonna to build a gas mask. It's effective against pepper spray. It's been tried and tested and uh, it works. So let's get uh, building. All right, everyone. So what we're gonna try and make is something that resembles this 3M mask here. You can see I got with Emma the teenager and we already made one today. Pretty simple, two liter bottles with the uh, little mini Diet Coke bottles there. I think this had the orange vanilla flavor, um, which is kind of nice after it's all done, you can kind of still smell it. A little bit of duct tape, some giant rubber band, and some furnace filter. And everything we need is right here. We need some long needle nose pliers to put it into the little, little uh, bottle. Get your rubber band so you can secure it to your head. Um, if you've got, if you don't have a rub, giant rubber band, that's okay. Use the elastic. You can pull it out of the clothing, or if you've got some stored away because you actually make your own clothing, that's great. I have a ton of that too, but I had these rubber bands laying around, and I thought, I don't know what I'm ever going to do with them. But today we're going to make a mask. You need a knife, so we're going to trim some things up. Scissors, same reason. Sharpie, so we can mark what we're doing. Get a little T-Rex tape. This stuff is awesome. It's going to take about uh, three feet, maybe four feet to get it all done. We got our furnace filters. Now this is not the furnace filter I'm actually going to use. I just It's just the one I happen to have for display. Um, the one I'm going to use for actually filtering is much finer, has a uh, much finer particulate collection rate, so it will filter better. And then we've got our drill bits. We need a half inch bit and a 5 16 bit. With our drill, our two mini bottles, and you could do a single bottle, you know, just have one that, uh, you know, comes out the front here. Or not have one at all. If all you've got is two liter bottles, you can still pull this off. It'll still work. This is this, uh, this the way I set it up. It is a little more effective and it gives you a little better filtration because you have pre-filters, right? So you get your pre-filter here. It's going to come up. Hit your main filter and you know lots of duct tape all right and here's emma the teenager modeling our prototype model here can you breathe well yeah yeah and it gets a pretty decent seal it's hard to tell because of the holes here um, get six holes one in each of these and then one in the center those are 5 16 holes and then through the cap where it goes in, you're going to do the half inch hole. All right. Now, if you didn't want to do, have these things sticking out because someone come along, grab it. You could just do it with the bottle and just take the cap off and you'll be, you still have that same filtration. It's just, it's kind of fun to have the giant pre filters because, well, it's going to filter more stuff and it looks kind of funny. All right. And then giant rubber band works good. See, she's got some hair under here, so not going to be as effective seal. But it actually seals up pretty good. So let's get to making our mask. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this bottle. We're going to cut it right here along this line. All right. We're going to cut the bottom off because we don't need that. And then I like to cut out for the part that's going to go around my face where the label is glued on because, well, why would you cut it anywhere else? Doesn't make any sense. All right, so I'm gonna do that, and we're gonna drill the holes in these in these bottles. So we're ready to go, and we'll see you in just a, a minute. Okay, once we've got that drilled out, we've got our lids drilled out. And you want to make sure you keep this this ring here, because that's gonna give us something to compress up to when we when we drill the holes into the big bottle. So we get the end off. We'll go ahead and cut this piece. Um, so it fits my fat head. And then uh, we'll be back. One. All right, and we've cut it out here. You know, use your best judgment on where it's gonna go. Nice thing with two liter bottles, they're cheap, they're abundant, and you can always drink what's in them. And put it on. All right, slide it in so you can test. Definitely works. Like, All right, next thing we're gonna do is figure out where we're gonna drill our holes down here to 
have our extra bottles. Now at this point, if you put your filter in here, you tape it in, hook up your elastics, you're good to go with the way this is right now. Right? This will do the job, it's effective. If you ever get a chance to get pepper sprayed and this will, this will do the trick. Skin still, skin still gets burned, but you still have uh, intact eyes and mucous membranes. But it does the job. So this is where it's helpful to have uh, Emma the teenager to help you out. So you can kind of look at it and see, well, where do I want to put that? And then use your Sharpie. Make your marks. And then complete the hole. And then cut that out. And we'll be back after that's done. All right, there you see we've got them cut in. We have the one with the cap on. It's not going to move. If you're really concerned, I guess you could do a drop of silicone around it. But this is a temporary measure. This is not meant to be worn every day for, you know, weeks and weeks on end. This is a, uh, something's happening and I have to have a mask. All right. And next part would be to fill these little bottles. But I don't have any more material to do that. Um, I'm going to have to. Go and get a different filter that has a finer micron uh, filtration rate than what I've got here. Like I said, this one we made earlier is just a prototype. And we're just going to run amok here with this and I'll show you how to, to connect everything. The rest of it is pretty non-rocket science and we'll use the prototype to finish this off. I don't know if you can see this real well, but the one that's on the bottom closest to the cap is just a little bit longer by about an inch and a half, maybe two inches. Um, you know, I, I cut it for Emma the teenager, I cut it for her head, and this is the strap that goes to the top of the head, right? Because it's gonna pull it up to make the seal. This one is the one that goes directly behind, um, below ear level, so it's gonna pull it down the other one pulls it up and they're going to use that cross force to keep that on your face and keep that seal good. Um, another thing you want to do is once you've figured out the head, round these corners off because they are really super sharp and they really suck. And then just trim the whole thing out in the duct tape. So again, down here we've stuffed this with um, the same material that's in these. This is the Still treat by 3M. Um, you know, this is a basic furnace filter. It's not what I want to use for breathing to prevent some biological virus from coming into me. Um, but again, it's just what we're doing for our prototype and for our video here. So we fill this up and ideally I would stuff this until nothing there I couldn't put more in the air is gonna flow through but the idea is that with every one of these little pleats I'm gonna be able to catch particulate okay and then the same thing when you get in here if you've got an N95 to put in here that's great um, makes life easier because then you get the rubber band too but you put it in there and it's gonna you're gonna be able to suck air through here really well I've tried it Emma's tried it and it works really well. So this is, if we're gonna break it into, in, you know, the filter that I used, I cut it into fifths. So there's two fifths here, two fifths here, one fifth in here, um, because it's already pre-filtered. And this is actually six layers of, of filter here. Um, plus it's it's taped around the edges and then it's taped inside. So there's, you can see there's just a ton of, of filtration in here. I'm not at all worried that I'm going to um, get something in. And like I say, if you've ever been on one of the courses where you get to have the joy of building one of these and you fail, if you get the pepper spray in your eyes or your nose, you know that these things are very effective. All right. All right, guys, I hope you find this video entertaining and interesting and maybe it will help to just help you out. Um, that's all I've got for today. Y'all have a great one. Bye-bye.